Good morning, students. In my last video, we start the physics first chapter, electricity, and we discuss about electric current and potential difference. So, in this video, in this class, we will start the next topic, which are related to potential difference and how it can be calculated. So, in last class, potential difference P. Potential difference V equals to W upon Q. That means W work upon charge. Work upon charge. That means potential difference. And we make the unit of potential difference Joule upon Coulomb. Joule upon Coulomb, that means we can make the SI unit of potential difference is volt. Volt, now V equals to W upon Q, Joule upon Coulomb and volt. Now, if you make the definition of 1 volt, 1 volt, which means if 1 Joule work done, 1 Joule work done to carry one Coulomb charge from one point to another point in an electric field, we can say this is one volt. One volt, again I repeat, when one Joule work done to carry one unit Coulomb charge from one point to another point in an electric field, we can say this is one volt. Potential difference can be measured by a meter, voltmeter. Voltmeter is always connected to parallel. And the sign of the voltmeter is V. This is a symbol of voltmeter in an electric circuit. Now, the next topic we will start. How you can make an electric circuit? Electric circuit that means such as in our house for wiring we have to take the different electrical appliances such as bulb, battery, wire, many more electrical appliances when you make a circuit that means if you define the term electric circuit means Different electrical appliances are connected in a particular arrangement. This is called electric circuit. So our next topic is electric circuit. Electric circuit that means different electrical appliances are connected by using their symbol. If you use their symbol and we have to make a particular through wire through collector and we can say this is electrical circuit. Students, electric circuit which means when we use different electrical appliances and we can connect by using their symbol. So let me start first, what are the symbols of different electrical appliances such as first we take a cell. cell we use a symbol in a physics. This is a symbol of cell. There are two lines. <coughs> a big line that means positive terminal and a small line indicate as a negative terminal. So this is positive terminal. This is negative terminal. And as we know that current is always flow from positive terminal to negative terminal. Okay. Current flow from positive to negative okay and electrons flow from positive negative to positive terminal of cell and when you take battery battery which means when two and more cells are connected together that means combination of two and more cells such as one second third these are three cells and when we connect to each end by end, positive, negative, again positive, negative, this is positive terminal. Students, be careful about it. 
when you connect two and more cell in series that means end to end connected first it becomes a positive terminal then the last one it should be negative terminal we cannot use this is in right way to connect a cell or combination of cell if you write in this way no this is wrong way to connect different two and three cells this is the right way okay so we can connect two and three cells now third a meter a meter that means this is a symbol of a meter positive terminal negative terminal similarly volt meter again volt meter v positive terminal negative terminal fifth connecting wire we can use connecting wire these are two symbols this is a directly connected wire and this is a overlapping that means suppose this is a wire and it becomes overlap this wire so we can use this is the symbol of wire next first cell battery ammeter voltmeter connecting wire sixth we will take rheostate rheostate that means we can use that type of symbol of rheostate rheostate is an instrument which control the amount of current seven resistance this is resistors and eighth variable resistor this is resistor we can change the variable resistor in this symbol now next this is the sign of key okay key which means switch switch again this is also sign of key but there is a little bit different between two keys this is an open and this is close close circuit that means on condition of a fan tube light a bulb whatever similarly open circuit that means this is an off situation be careful about it this is open and this is closed circuit closed circuit which mean on situation in a house in a room and open which means off so these are many electrical appliances which are using by in a household when we make an electric circuit and when we use these all to make a complete electric circuit again i repeat first cell battery ammeter voltmeter connecting wire rheostate resistance variable resistance switch or key and this is also key but open close and the last one we can use electric bulb this is electric bulb so all these electrical appliances are used to make an electric circuit students so by using different electrical appliances we can make an electric circuit so i draw the electric circuit read diagram of electric circuit first these all are connecting wire this is an ammeter cell battery we can use more than one cell this is for battery key okay now this is resistor we can use also electric and electric bulb voltmeter 
voltmeter is always connected to the parallel of resistor a meter is always connected series with cell or battery now what is the missing in this circuit this is not a complete circuit because it is not on this is open circuit right okay student this is an open circuit but when you make switch on that means this is an off situation of this complete circuit so when we use this key now this is not open it is closed circuit and now it becomes on and current is flow in which direction as we knew that it move positive terminal to negative terminal it should be compulsory ki when you draw the ray diagram of an electric circuit the direction of current should be draw so positive terminal to negative terminal and again negative to positive so this is an electric circuit again cell or battery this is an ammeter voltmeter resistance key you can also use an electric fan tube light electric bulb many more so this is a complete closed circuit and if you remove it that means this is an open circuit which means off okay now when you make this electric circuit after that we will start the new topic that is the most important part of this chapter ohm's law the main part of this chapter actually that this chapter is based on this ohm's law so what ohm's law is most important for exam point of view the question may be fine to write the ohm's law what are the factors of factor effecting of resistance okay so let me start ohm's law what was the ohm's law according to this law if the physical state of a wire or a resistor remain constant such as length area of cross section and temperature then the amount of current through pass it is directly proportional to the potential difference a meter is used to measure electric current voltmeter used to find the potential difference between across the end of two points such as a and b on the basis of this we can write the amount of current the amount of current passed through this wire i that means is directly proportional to the v is directly proportional to the i when the physical state physical state of wire such as length temperature and third one area of cross section area of cross section we can use a temperature t length l so if you define the ohm's law so what was the ohm's law according to ohm's law when the physical state of a wire remain constant if length temperature area of cross section remain constant then the amount of current pass through this conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference across the end of this wire so if you write v is directly proportional to the i therefore where this is a constant sign if you remove it v equals to ri then r equals to v upon i r is the where this is a 
That means this is Ohm's law. V equals to IR, V equals to IR. You can write V equals to IR or V equals to RI. Then I R equals to V upon R, where R equals to a new constant. This is called resistance. Resistance. R equals to V upon I, where R equals to resistance. What is the value of unit of R? So, R equals to V upon I. If you make the unit of resistance, okay, V, potential difference across the end of wire, I, the amount of current passed through it. So, R equals to volt upon ampere. Volt, unit of potential difference, I, that means current, ampere is a unit of current. So, volt upon ampere, this is called ohm. You can write ohm or make a sign omega. This is a sign of ohm. This is called omega. You can write 5 ohm. You can write in this way also. 10 ohm. So, this is the unit of potential difference R equals to V upon I. R equals to volt upon ampere. Volt upon ampere, that means ohm. 